welcome back to Dunwoodmere, where everyone is dying. Uh, this is banished hard and fast. I'm running it on 10 times speed on the hardest settings, and we have had a big, big problem with starvation. Now it's the middle of winter and everybody's freezing, although we do have a little bit of food. Uh, our citizenry is... Oh, look, let's just get going. Our citizenry is so low that I've had to turn off most of the industries except for food production and uh, making firewood. Uh, but we're still low on food. We don't have enough firewood to go around. Um, man, this is rough. This is rough. It could be the end. This might be the last uh, in this in this series. This might be the last episode. I didn't anticipate that uh, I would do like perfectly well and everything be hunky dory all the time. But every time that starvation cascade happens, it catches you. It's like you know the pit of your stomach just kind of drops. <laughs> At least it does for me. It's like all my people start just dying. So, but we're gradually we're getting it. We just the problem is right now they're very very cold, and I don't have any real laborers to deliver stuff anywhere. But I mean, hopefully we've stayed. Oh my God, we just lost another fisherman to old age. This is a, the problem I had mentioned in the last episode. Is we had kind of a, a double problem of. Our citizenry was reaching the point where they would start dying of old age. So I started to build a chapel. I, I got it ready because, you know, I want to keep them happy when their when they're, uh, people die. Oh, good. Somebody just became a laborer for us. That's great. Um, but we had to pause the chapel building because of some other priorities and so forth. But uh, in the end, we got hit with a starvation problem. We ran out of food, and I just, we could not bounce back from that quick enough to avoid a, like, a rolling death count. It was just, everybody was dying. So now, pretty much everything is put on pause or just, like, turned off uh, until such time as we can get a handle on both the food and this, the cold. What, why isn't this guy working? Well, because he doesn't have any logs. And I only have one laborer. All right, but we're going to have to, you know, here, harvest some freaking trees for us, would you? No, 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 not that. We need to go, where is it? This and like this. And here, cut down some trees for us. And cut down these trees, too. We got to get this handled before the next winter because, I mean, the, the houses are, are chilly but they're not gonna die, they're not gonna freeze to death because of lack of firewood in springtime and summer, you know? But if we don't get that handled before winter comes, we're in, we're gonna be in big, big trouble. Now, one good thing is, you know, we had a stockpile of steel weapons or I would say weapons, stored tools. And so these steel tools will help us, uh, despite the fact that I am now I've reverted to an uneducated population, that'll be okay for us because they're not going to burn through the steel tools as fast as they would the, the cheapy ones. But the problem is now I don't have anybody to, like, do the harvesting and, and stuff like that. We're just, I'm... It's just about the food at this point. So no builders, no nobody. And they're all, I think they're all just too bummed out to have new babies. Or maybe they don't have enough food to go around for that. But now we've got up to 700 food. And that, I'm going to let that go up really high. Before, well, I, I don't really have a choice. Uh, because I don't have anybody to allocate to other industry. Until they have more children and the children age up, we're just stuck. You know, I'm stuck. Yes, I know the reserve of firewood is low. They're, they're telling me that, but there's nothing I can do about that. Because this guy doesn't have any freaking logs. 
Okay, good. Now they're starting to have babies again. At least a baby. Okay, gatherer's hut. We got two people working there. We have one working there. One working there. Okay, our art house is no. This house still needs some wood in it. Okay, we got another baby born. Alright, so we got five babies. 500 food. Man, I just... Uh, we can't we can't afford more deaths. We just can't. I really oh man, I really want to get these places going again, but yes, reserve of logs. Oh my god, see and another person died of old age. So now I, again, I'm down to I have no Okay, I'm going to have to drop a fisherman so I can have a laborer. I don't really have a choice. We can't go without a laborer because the laborer does deliveries for us and stuff. And if we can't take the stuff from A to B, it does us no good to produce it. And for, for right now, we only have 17 total citizens. Yes, reserve of logs and firewood is low. We know this. Okay, yeah, if we can just, you know, the, we're going to have to rely on the children aging up, is the thing. But I can't, I can't start building anything, no, more housing and things like that. It's not going to do us any good. I only have 12 adults anyway. And so some of these houses, yeah, they're already unoccupied. And many of them, they only have... A single resident. Oh, good. Another baby is born. All right. And our food is up over... It's around a thousand. It's it's going up and down a little bit here, but that's to be expected. Oh, my God. Let's... Here, let's remove some... Let's harvest some trees. How can we be running so low on the firewood thing? That's, that's not right. Oh my god, look at all these houses. They're running out of fuel now. Oh, crap. Man, I just need some of these. Oh, crap, and we had a gatherer died of old age. Oh, this is rough. Bouncing back from this is, yeah, this is a bit of a challenge here. I'm not sure exactly where I made my biggest mistake. But clearly, I made some mistake along the way. I just not, I'm not sure where it was, when it was. I didn't pay attention to my food situation. I, I, I. I'm pretty sure that going out here and not building these right away was a problem for us. Had I built these, this uh, hunter and gatherer place uh, right away, as soon as we started going across the river here, um, that might have uh, helped us to avoid the starvation issue, but uh, I don't know for sure. You know, I just don't know. It may have been inevitable, you know, building the housing and and so forth, you know, because as you do that, they suck all your food out of your storage and your firewood and, and everything. And then, um, yeah, before you know it, it, things just go south super fast. All right, but it looks like we're getting a little bit of a stockpile. We're now up to 1,400 food. Yeah, 
if we can get over 3,000 food, I'll be I'll be pretty happy here. Problem is, I just you know right now I don't have anybody to allocate to doing anything other than just food gathering and delivery, which is unfortunate because yeah we're gonna start running low on our clothes and tools and things. Oh great, one of our kids just aged up to be a laborer, and we got another baby born. Yeah, I would love to have them educated, but it's not really a thing for us. I think I will. I think I will go ahead and specify a builder. Maybe get this. You know, that's not going to do us any good. I don't have enough, not enough people for it anyway. Never mind. Yeah, if I want to add hunters, I can add them to this cabin now. I don't need to necessarily have that other one built. How's this doing? Okay, we're getting some berries and things. Yeah, I guess the only thing that, like, let's just remove all resources in this general area. That should get us some berries and things like that, too, in addition to the wood that we desperately need to make firewood. And so forth. Yes, we know that the reserve of firewood is low, but at least everybody's got firewood in their houses right now. We don't have any spare, but we do have the houses are warm for the winter. And we got another baby born. And some of these kids should be aging up here fairly soon to the point where they can start you know being laborers and maybe we'll be able to start allocating uh, people back to our industries okay we're over 1500 food and it's still rising so yeah I'm just we're gonna stay dedicated to just focus on the food and and clearing clearing these areas as as quickly as we can and another baby I, I, man these names though Amiradance or something? I don't know. Oh, but somebody aged up to being a laborer. That's great. So now I have three laborers. That's good. They'll be able to deliver the stuff for us better. Um, how about this? What is our situation here? We've got hide coats, fish, tools, leather logs. All right. I don't have I don't have a vendor in there that will bring stuff to the place but there's already stuff in the place in the market that uh, people can can pick up so that that'll be fine for the time being all right 14 adults we'll need to get some stone going again And the wood and everything, all the stuff. We're up to seventeen hundred food. You know, I'm thinking when we started to get the, you know, running low on the food and stuff. I should have probably immediately closed the uh, the school because I had several students in there. I think that could have immediately just gone into the workforce and started delivering supplies and gathering stuff for us, but I didn't do that. And then, yeah, well, whatever. I, we're it seems as though we we avoided utter disaster. We got another child born, so we got seven kids. 
14 adults. We may just bounce back from this. But it's going to be a bit of a slow haul to get back. I mean, if I had a town hall, we could maybe just attract some nomads. Uh, but I've found that if you don't have a hospital, when you get nomads into your place, you are host. Because they always bring disease with them. You know, they've just been wandering around living in the wilds and they're all just filled with ticks and lice and stuff. And they, they're just, yeah, they're not well-kempt people, those nomads. But we're almost at 2,000 food. We've got 99 firewood stored now. We've got three laborers. So I think, I think we have avoided the worst of the situation and we got 11 stored clothes. So we're going to have to work on some leather jackets and things. 2,200 food. Okay, well, how are we doing here? This, yeah, this house is unoccupied still. We got a child named Trist. I like that. It's fitting. They had a tryst from their tryst. They had a tryst, then they had a tryst. But, uh, yeah, I just, I'm hesitant to start allocating anybody because I need the laborers really probably just more to clear stuff than to do anything else. So we'll just have them keep clearing. So this is stored iron. We don't have no stored stone. So I'm thinking, all right, we will go ahead and allocate at least one stone cutter. Because uh, I cannot go without having some stone and we've pretty much cleared all the stone uh, from these areas around here. So without having the quarry running, uh, we're, yeah, we're not in great shape. Oh, good. Good look at this. We got two more of our kids aged up to be laborers for us. And we got eight clothes still. That'll be fine. Ooh, but our food situation is back down to 1,500. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and allocate a builder. The reserve of firewood is low. Come on. Make more firewood for us. All right, I'm not going to... Uh, we're not going to do a builder. Oh, crap, and we had a fisherman die of old age. That's not what we want. Yeah, my happiness or health... Surprisingly, these guys are relatively happy. That I... Keep forgetting this is the average health though and they're they're not doing great on that all right well this guy at least he's he kind of keeping up but not really doing super great at that but i think it just comes down to we don't have enough logs coming in that's our problem so we need to remove more of these resources like that. Here, get that stuff. And get this stuff over here, too. How's this doing? Get firewood and fish and stuff in there. Oh, wait a minute. They bring stuff here without the vendor? Huh, okay. Well, that's cool. Good, good, good. We have another laborer now. Oh, and we got through another winter. Holy moly. I'm stressed. This whole thing has got me stressed. All right, now we allocate a builder. I'm going to want this functioning out here because it's just too far 
to come. Well, they're <laughs> kind of equidistant, I guess. But let's pause this gatherer's hut. And we'll just have the builder can build this. Just get that done. And we're going to have these guys, our laborers, clear everything right there. Okay, down to five outfits and tools are running low as well. All right, let's see what we can do here if we, if we allocate someone to the blacksmith. Because they, they go through the tools much faster than they go through, even even steel tools, they go through much faster. But we've got some coal. Okay, another child born. All right, well, slowly but surely, we're getting our population back. Holy moly. Okay, this place. There. Okay, now we're back down to one laborer. So we drop that down like so. And another baby born. Okay, how's our food? We're at 18, 1700. Okay, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I would love to get it over 3,000. Did this house ever get residents? Yes. An old laborer. It's going to die soon. Ah, oh, but we got another baby born. Good. Man, I'm not going to open the school for a while. Yeah, we haven't even dedicated any resources to this except for a handful of logs, which is also fine. Let's remove these resources there. Are you still clearing out th this area? Good. Well... Yeah, not super exciting. We got another laborer, though. Okay. Um, yeah, I think... What are we missing here? Probably... Yeah, coal. Alright. So this place gets one... One worker. We get some more coal coming in. And then we can make the steel tools. We're going to have to also get... Oh, get another child born. Okay, we're also going to have to get... Um, some clothes going. So we're going to allocate... Somebody to that. And we'll turn them off once we get a bit of a stockpile. Right? We're going to have to. I can't have them dedicated and me have only one labor because we've got an aging population. They're going to die and I need laborers to take over. Oh, but we've also got children that are aging up and becoming laborers. So that's good. That's really good. Yes, we know that the reserve of firewood is low. It's always low, isn't it? Sucks going into winter with the low firewood thing, but good. We've got another laborer now. That is great. So we can let these industries run for a little while here. Do you have everything? You got the leather. All right, just make the clothes. Okay, so we got seven tools and seven clothes. That, that'll that be running for a little while. This guy's probably still in need of, yeah. Oh, he needs iron too. All right, well, we allocate one person to this place. What, what's the deal here?
I don't understand what that Were you maxed out on iron reserves? Oh, we don't need the iron. All right. Here, switch over to do coal for a little bit. And another baby born. Okay, so we got two laborers. We need more wood, though. Yeah, and we also need to get this road out here. firewood situations we need to remedy that which means we need to allocate people to this lodge but we're just gonna have them not plant just cut just cut in fact this place here also just cut no planting How are we doing? We have only one laborer, but we've got, we can turn off the tailor. You become a laborer for a while. How's our tool situation? Not great. Yeah, we'll let the blacksmith keep going, making the tools. Oh, well, we've got 20 adults now again and we've got 1500 food so I'm gonna continue to bump up our food production and our wood production so we can keep up with the firewood demand yeah in fact out here let's do that and this one No, no, not like that. I'm going to tell this place you only get two workers total. And then this place will produce more firewood for us or more uh, logs that can then be turned into firewood. And we got another laborer. That's great. All right, I think I think we have avoided death. We're coming back. We've got 21 adults, seven children. We just had another one born. Where our industries are, are starting to bounce back. Look how many. Uh, we've got 32 stored clothes. We're getting a store of tools again. Our food is just right around 1,500. It's hovering there. And I'll continue to add more people to that as they uh, as they age up and so forth. So I think I think we have avoided a complete disaster here guys and i hope you have enjoyed this if you have please smash that like button leave me any comments tips tricks recommendations or death threats subscribe share and favorite and we'll talk with all of you again very very soon